Yeah, I mean, the dip... So, keep in mind, like, this has happened before, right? Um, we had a dip, and, and this year, uh, and the, we started off the year at, at one point going below what we were a year earlier in January of 2020. Um, but that happened also in 2019. Um, the dip was actually bigger than the dip this time. Um, so this has happened before, right? So you gotta keep in mind that um, there's events that happen in between that lower some, uh, you know, the market's confidence um, and then that changes. And uh, you know, some of the events that, that lowered the market's confidence is the Fed's report, the Fed report that came out uh, in December um, about their plan to um, increase the interest rates um, to uh, reduce the pandemic spending and reduce the inflation rate um, and you know increase uh, yield bond uh, interest rates and all that and so when that happens uh, people tend to then uh, flock to more conservative investments right um, like bonds um, etc um, and so that was a big part of you know the the debt so what do you think it's going to take for I, I think I think there will have to be some event as well. I, and the other part, by the way, is, is the crypto mining bans that happened in Kosovo and in Iran, right? And we saw what happened with China when China banned crypto. There was a huge dip and then it went back up, right? Same thing happened in 2017. So these tend to be temporary in my view. Um, and. I think that uh, we could have positive news at some point. That uh, that's what it's going to take um, to just give a little boost, but right? What because that, what do you think is, is it, uh, it could be something uh, to do with regulations, right? I know that uh, in a few weeks there's going to be a meeting uh, within the government, um, within the Fed, to to speak about um, crypto, and you know something could happen there where it signals that. Uh, we're going to have positive legislation for crypto, more support from the government. Um, so yeah, I mean, it can come in the form of many, many things. There's you know, many big players coming into crypto. Like, you know, I can imagine like, okay, Amazon is accepting crypto for payments or so, some right. big player coming in um, to signal the adoption is, is growing, right? Um, and then, you know, some, some changes with COVID, right? If, the government has to ramp up spending again, um, and inflation is, is in danger of going up again. I mean, a number of things could happen, right? Um, so yeah, I, I think it's uh, just gonna take some event like that um, because we're gearing up for a, a swing up to 70, right? This dip is kind of gearing us up. Um, if you look historically, you know, after a dip, there's a swing, and, and I think that uh, it's just gonna take some, some reason to kind of spark it, right? I think the market is waiting because most people do believe in the long term. We're just waiting for a little bit of a signal. Did you buy the dip? I bought uh, right before the dip, so I was <laughs> I, I was a victim of the hype. That's what I'm giving you guys tips about. Like that's why I could give you a tip because I learned from my own failures. Um, but I also bought when it's low, but not as much as I would have liked because I was following another tip that I was giving you guys, which is don't buy more than you can afford or want to lose, right? Right now, if I you know, had the same amount of money I had before I, I, you know, I lost, uh, <laughs> before I bought at the peak, um, I would have invested it all during the dip, right? And so, but I, I have a threshold. I'm like, you know, I gotta be disciplined.